some of the other really innovative things that um, uh, our agencies have done in trying to address some of the barriers to women achieving uh, senior positions uh, are children's workshops. So since 1908, PIRSA, uh, with the uh, Primary Industries Agency, which just happens to be my agency at the moment, it's actually arranged a, a workshop for school children, uh, uh, school aged children, I should say, um, of employees during the school holidays, and not the Christmas break because there's not a need then. But these workshops um, include regular uh, workshops at Car Clue uh, Youth Arts in North Adelaide. Uh, and regional workshops in Port Lincoln and Clare. PERSA, so the agency actually subsidises the cost of these workshops and make them more affordable uh, uh, than the average cost of vacational care. And the workshops cost uh, about $1,200 um, uh, for the school holiday program, uh, which is offset by revenue from employees. They, uh, employees contribute half. Um, and PERSA also provides before uh, lunch and after workshop care uh, at Car Clue to make the program more accessible to working parents uh, and grandparents. And PERSA has also developed um, a family room. So they cleared out one of their offices uh, and PERSA is the first agency to have such a, a thing and it's been open since uh, April 2008 and it's available to PERSA employees that work uh, 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 that can work uh, while supervising family members, uh, you know, kids uh, that for whatever, they might have an appointment or uh, um, pupil-free days or um, a non-infectious illness um, uh, or for um, employees of um, elderly parents uh, who need a place to wait uh, before or after appointments. Um, they're a voluntary alternative to taking carers' leave and are intended to give employees greater choice and flexibility. Uh, the family rooms provide comfortable seating and there's toys and a TV and a DVD player, along with uh, network access for employees. So if the child needs supervision, uh, the staff member can actually um, set up a workstation there as well. Uh, and the fit-out was only something like $800. So you know, it's 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 really simple stuff that can uh, make a, a huge difference uh, to um, working mums and dads. So um, those sort of initiatives have been uh, overwhelmingly well received from uh, from staff. So part of sharing the benefits of our uh, success is, is uh, to actually recognise uh, achievement each year. Uh, and that is important, uh, that we must recognise uh, the achievement of, of others and also ourselves. So each year the state celebrates and showcases uh, the achievement of individuals, groups and organisations that have made significant contributions uh, to, for instance, regional South Australia, and that's through the Advantage SA Regional Awards. Uh, the Innovation, uh, Innovation Award recognises individuals individuals, businesses and organisations and community groups who've uh, introduced new or significantly improved goods or services. Uh, and the award aims to you know, obviously recognise people, enterprises and initiatives, provide that benchmark for excellence and publicly recognise uh, and reward excellence. And there are 12 categories and I encourage you uh, to enter the category that best reflects uh, your achievements uh, and nominate an individual, business or organisation or event or project. So think about that. It is, uh, women are often the sort of quiet achievers and often don't value uh, the things that we do or um, our colleagues. So it's into, do take the time to sit back and think, oh yeah, I've, I, my friend or um, my work colleagues or myself um, well, I should put myself forward for that. Entries um, are, open, uh, are now open. They close on uh, the 22nd of June, so do have a think about that. Um, the, um, I, just, uh, um, I also established a Women Hold Up Half the Sky Award as part of the Australia Day Council and South Australia Awards. The award recognises and acknowledges inspirational South Australian women and forms part of a strategy to uh, increase the nomination uh, of women to national, uh, uh, the national awards and honours um, uh, provisions. And they uh, uh, open, those nominations are open for a 2013 award. Uh, so the nominations will open in September. So do have a think about that. Um, I, I just think it's so important to support and recognise um, women, and uh, it's also uh, particularly those in our rural and regional uh, centres or areas. 
who uh, make significant contributions to their communities. And um, uh, I, I think in closing, uh, it's, there's so much I could talk about today, but I think it's time to close. Um, it's through these sorts of initiatives that um, I've, I've talked about today that I think we're better able to <coughs> increase the participation of women, particularly uh, into leadership positions, which in turn leads to um, better uh, quality decisions and more successful organisations. And I think that it's through strong leadership uh, drive and innovation um, of, of many uh, uh, in our communities, including you here today, uh, that it's through those efforts that uh, we achieve prosperity uh, for um, all South Australians. Thank you again uh, for the opportunity uh, to meet with you and address you today. And enjoy the rest of your conference. <laughs>